Hi, I ran every day for a year from October the 22nd, 2019 to October the 22nd, 2020. I'm filming this video on October the 23rd, um, so I've officially done the challenge that I set for myself. Um, so you might be wondering why, why would you want to do something like this? And I think it's a few reasons. Firstly, I love challenges and I think having challenges in your life is a really good way to feel fulfilled um, once you overcome those challenges, um, as long as you keep setting them for yourself. So yeah, it was just something to, it was something interesting to look forward to every day. And uh, just for context, I had been running for a few years prior to that, but I would often find myself skipping training sessions just because I didn't feel like it. And also because like maybe there was dinner, it was dinner time and I would be like, oh, I'm gonna have dinner instead of run, which is the easy choice to make. So that's why I decided also to have the strict rule, which meant that I had to train every day. Um, it's obviously not something you do if you're an elite athlete because you need to recover as well. Um, and also you wanna prevent yourself from injury, but I can get into how I prevented myself from getting injured uh, in the coming up in the, in the video. So yeah, that's why I did it. I wanted a challenge. I also wanted to train more and um, I just wanted to push myself and see what I could do. Um, and then I'll get on to how I did it. Uh, that's an interesting question. Um, basically, the minimum amount of mileage I'd do per day was at least three kilometers, um, three kilometer run. So that's the smallest run I'd ever do was three kilometers. I would try aim for between 10 and 12 on average every day. I believe my average over the course of the year was 12 kilometers um, per day. When you average out the 30K runs and the 3K runs, um, it all sort of evens out. And yeah, the reason I did do the 30K runs mixed with the 3K runs is just for recovery. Uh, you can recover quite easily with a 3K run if you're used to running longer distances, if you just go slow. So recovery actually wasn't a big deal for me. As I was saying, recovery wasn't a huge issue for me because I was just recovering on those smaller runs, the smaller and shorter runs, um, and I was going slow then as well. Stretching did help a lot. Um, I've sort of stopped stretching for a while, but it did help when I was doing it. It really made me feel like my body was loosened up. I do need to get back into that though. I've just been lazy. There's no excuses for that. Um, and yeah, what I did find as well is that I was eating a lot of food um, to stay energetic and because you know when you're running you're burning calories um, you need to replace those calories and yeah I was replacing those calories every day so I did end up eating a lot of food didn't put any on any weight which was great um, but yeah I mean if if I was trying to bulk up it wouldn't be a great tactic for that so yeah that's kind of how I did it just eats lots of food stay hydrated um, in terms of time management that was another key thing um, Finding the time can be tough sometimes, um, but even 15 minutes would count as a run, so you just fit that in when you can, um, and not make as many excuses as you'd normally do. And yeah, like if you set yourself a goal like this, you can actually do it um, if you tell everyone about it, because then you'll be held accountable to it. So that also helped me um, complete that whole year of running every day. Um, the hardest run I did do was after my 100K um, ultra marathon. So the day after I went for a 3k run and it was not fun because um, my body was just wrecked from the day before. Um, but again, it just goes to show that if you do set a goal like this and you are committed, you can do it. And, you know, it's it's kind of stupid, uh, like it's not the best for your body, um, but I guess it is, it's just something you've, you might want to do. So yeah, I don't know what else to say to that. Okay, so now I'll get on to what I kind of learned about myself um, and what it taught me and kind of the wisdom I can impart to you guys. Um, well, firstly, it did show me that there's always time if you prioritize things because running, I did make a priority. Um, there's always time for it. And I think that's a big excuse people make these days as to why they're not hitting their goals or not doing what they feel like they should be doing. They say, oh, I don't have time. And yeah, like I understand that people do have full-time jobs and I'm a uni student, so that's a huge time difference just there. Um, but if something is important enough to you, you will make time for it. Um, and if you are being held accountable, you will make time for it. Um, even if it means you're running at 10 or 11 at night, which is what I had to do a few times 
luckily I live in a safe area, but, um, you know, there's always time for these things. You just have to plan ahead, plan the day before and, um, get it done. So that's the first thing I learned. The second thing I learned is that your body can cope with a lot if you let it adapt properly. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, easing into that running every day. I was doing short mileage to start off with. And then I eventually built up the mileage to around 100, 120 Ks a week, brought it back down when I was getting a bit fatigued and then brought it back up. So it's just about common sense, uh, not going too hard, not going too fast when you feel tired but also allowing yourself to go hard and fast um, when your body feels great. It's it's just about being in tune with your body. There's no rule. Um, it's just do what you can with your level of fitness and your body's ability to recover. And I'm lucky because I am a 20 year old, so my body recovers really quick. Um, I don't know if people over, over 50 or 60 would be able to do this, but I mean, go ahead if you want. Um, so yeah, I guess leading on to that then, leading on to lessons learned is that I'll talk about how it affected my running and basically what it did for me is I wouldn't say it improved it greatly but I do feel like it did make a difference in obviously recovery time because my body had to get used to recovering so quick. Um, that does help um, when you have big races coming up or if you're training for an event. Um, it just helps you get back into training as soon as possible. and. Um, I guess there were some downsides as well in terms of speed and stuff because um, as I said you if you're running every day you might not always have the energy to do those big training runs you need to do so um, it kind of does take away from training in some aspects but also helps in others so yeah as I was saying before it's not something pros would do but I know a lot of pros that do well I know of a lot of pros that do probably do run every day um, and manage it quite well, but it's definitely not a great tactic for everyone to implement. Yeah, so going forward in the future, um, I did find, I found the challenge did push me, and um, there were times when I was like, really didn't want to run, and I did anyway. Um, and I'm, I'm happy I finished the challenge, but I mean, I just don't feel satisfied, so <laughs> I, um, I've already posted on my personal Facebook page um, just to stay accountable that I'll be running every day for the next 10 years or next nine years now. So that means uh, over the span of from last year to 20, 29, 2030, 20, 20, yeah, um, I'll be running every day. Uh, that also means I'll be running every day through my 20s. So um, it's a pretty big commitment and I hope I can stick to it. I mean, like international travel and stuff might get in the way, but again, it's about formulating a plan, uh, prioritizing and just getting it done. That's, that's honestly the best advice I can give to anyone who wants to do something crazy like this. Um, obviously don't do something like crazy like this. If your health is jeopardized anyway, I'm very lucky that I'm a healthy, like perfectly healthy person. Um, I don't really get issues with joints or anything, and I don't have issues with cardio, especially now that I've been running for a while. Um, but yeah, if you are one of those people, obviously, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing something like this. Um, but I guess I guess my advice to anyone who's thinking of giving something like this a go, or even just building up to doing a marathon or anything, is just just to do it. Um, you know, life's too short to really like put these things off. And that's what I realized doing this over the past year is that the year went by so quick. It was challenging at times, but overall I'm happy I chose to do it last year as opposed to waiting and waiting and waiting. Because if you wait for tomorrow, tomorrow will never come. So that's my parting words of wisdom. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, be sure to subscribe for some more content and to stay up to date on my running everyday challenge. So yeah, thanks.